Hi guys, this Get Ready With Me is going to be pretty special. It's Valentine's Day and I want to wear my favourite black sparkly dress. So I based my makeup and hair all around this. I have to wait until the puppies are asleep because at the moment they are needing so much attention. So finally when they're settled down I can have a shower. I'm actually going to be using my Head & Shoulders Apple Fresh Shampoo and Conditioner. I raved about the Thick & Strong range in last week's monthly favourites which I love but for Valentine's Day this one smells so good and that's why I want to use it. I'm going to come back to my hair in a minute. In the meantime I'm going to take my grotty nail polish off with this Nails Ink nail polish removing pot which makes taking your nail polish off so easy. I'm going to put this Nail Kale Superfood Base Coat on which is packed full of vitamins to help your nails. Then I'm using this Gel Effect Nude which I love because it has the tiniest kind of hint of pink and perfect for Valentine's Day and then this top coat which I love because it's so thick it turns your nail polish basically into a gel and then my top tip blow dry your nails because they dry so much quicker I absolutely love the finish on these nails and now it's time to sort my mess of a hair out I have felt so down about my hair recently I talked about this last week and over the last couple of months I've had such an itchy scalp I've had dandruff everything is irritating me I do not want this when I I'm going on a date for Valentine's Day. I actually took my hair extensions out as well to try and help the situation and just really give my hair a good nourish. Loads of my other products I use just make my hair like look really good and I like that sometimes but whenever I've got a problem with my scalp I turn to head and shoulders and I've sworn by this for the last couple of years. It just helps my scalp. I can feel it kind of soothing. The main thing for me is dandruff and when I use this I don't get that which is not something I want to worry about especially when I'm wearing a black dress. So this shampoo and conditioner by head and shoulders just makes me feel so much better plus my hair is so soft when I've used it. Then I'm going to tie my hair back using my Kitsch headband. I am a massive fan of the hairbands of these. So when I found their headbands, I was in love with them. This is so vintagey. I absolutely love the lace. And then I'm going to use my Olay Regenerous Luminous Serum and Moisturiser. This has been something I have been loving for the past month or so. It is amazing if you have combination skin like me because it gives you that moisture and does not break you out. Plus my skin has been so sensitive. You can see it's really red and blotchy and this has helped soothe that so much. Oh my goodness, the new Real Techniques metallic brushes. I have waited so long to try this. I'm going to use my Kiko, this is actually one of their marbled eyeshadows, and press it on with one of the eyeshadow brushes. I've got a cream base underneath as well just to act as a primer so I know this is going to stay on. And then I'm going to use another one of their blending eyeshadow brushes and this Kiko long lasting 8 hour eye stick and blend this into the corner using that brush. This is a really creamy consistency. It just means it's really easy to do a smoky eye if you're not very confident like I am. Put the cream on, then blend it. These brushes are so good. They are angled so they don't roll off. They feel a little bit heavier and they are just, they've stepped it up a notch. The brushes are incredible. My friend Becca actually recommended these eyelashes so I'm going to put those on just for a little bit of glamour and then use this Kiko eye pencil just in the corner of my eyes to add a little bit of glitter. You know how I love the glitter. And then I'm using my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is incredible. I actually saw Zoe wearing this on Twitter the other day and couldn't quite believe that she wasn't wearing false lashes and this is my new favourite mascara along with the Benefit Give Me Brow which I turn to again and again for my eyebrows. It's so easy to give you a little bit of shape and definition again if you're not confident with doing your eyebrows. And then I'm going to use the Benefit Pore Professional Primer just before I start putting the base on which I love because it's nice and thick and it holds my makeup in place. Then I'm going to use the Real Techniques foundation brush with this Kiko Universal Fit Hydrating Foundation. For me, I absolutely love the coverage on this. I hadn't really tried much Kiko stuff, and I have to say this is really, really good. The coverage on this, you can see already the blemishes going. I don't even really need to cover my spots up separately with this. The only thing about this foundation that I would say, though, is I do need to powder. It's a little bit more dewy than I would usually like, so I need to set it really well with a the powder. Then, oh my goodness, the creme de la creme. This is my Primark PS Love foundation stick. It is in 
incredible. This is two pounds. It's actually slightly different to the concealer stick because it's a little bit more creamier, so it's far more easy to blend. I highlight, I conceal. This is insane. It's so, so good. I just blend it in and I cannot tell you how good this stuff is. And then I'm going to take my powder brush and my Laura Mercier Real Sans powder again just to set that makeup in place. I am so happy with how that concealer foundation stick has made my skin look. I've gone from like blotchy to actually hopefully half acceptable. And then I'm using my Kiko Radiant Touch Highlighter Stick which is probably one of my favourite bits of the range. It's so creamy, it's so pigmented and I love how I can just glide it on and then buff that in again using one of the real techniques brushes. It's so pretty for me Valentine's Day, it's all about the girly kind of look, a little bit of sparkle and this really just helps to go on top of that foundation stick and highlight the areas that I want to bring to life and take away the emphasis from any redness on my face. And then time for blusher, I'm turning to my MAC Gingerly Blush which is a lifetime favourite for me. I know I talk about this all the time but for me it gives me such a nice definition on my Cheeks, especially if I'm not wearing bronzer and the pigmentation is amazing. PS Love Primark Lip Liner. Oh my goodness, welcome my favourite lip liner of the moment. So pigmented, so easy to go on. I actually put this all over my lips to give me a base before I put my lip gloss on. And I'm using this Kiko Volume Lip Gloss, which is so pretty and sparkly, but most importantly, it actually tingles when it goes on, so it gives my lips a plumping effect, which is what I want to finish this look. Awkwardly now, looking into the camera to show you my makeup. This always feels so weird, but there you go, you can see the finished makeup look. And now for my hairstyle, the first thing that I'm going to do is use my Mark Hill Wanda Hairspray. This is meant to be a 12 in 1 for me, I use it as a hairspray, a texturizer, heat protection. So I put a little bit on at first just for grip and heat protection. Lots of you guys when I went on Twitter and asked what you'd like to see for Valentine's Day, you asked for a kind of half up, half down, well lots of you did, so I'm hoping that this recreates a little look for you. And I'm going to get a section in the middle and just grip that back to hold it in place. Then scrape your hair round to the side and get a hairbrush and brush it to make sure there are no knots and it's nice and smooth. Get that spray again just on the side that it's scraped round to set that in place as a hairspray and then grip the hair round the back. Then I'm going to use my Jose Eber hair curling wand. This is my favourite hair curling wand that I own. These curls are not going to move the whole night. I love the kind of thick barrel on it. It is not cheap, it's about £100, but these stay in place and I rave about this wand for a good reason. I've wasted so much money on wands that don't work and this does. Then I'm going to use that spray one more time for a little bit of hold and then I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of brush these curls out because I want them to be really like soft romantic curls and then I'm just going to use it as a texturizing spray in the roots to give me a little bit of lift. And then it's time to pack my bag, I'm putting my phone in, lip gloss, lip liner, concealer and then a little present for my date. These are actually from Rhodology, they are beautiful, I'm going to put the website below where you can buy these. They are stunning cufflinks, they do such nice jewellery as well but I thought this would be a perfect idea for your date. And then my Astrid and Miu little midi rings, I am obsessed with these. And then my Millie Macintosh dress which was actually from the sale. It was reduced from about £160 to £50. Again, I'm going to put the website. Hopefully you guys can find a really pretty dress on there. They are so, so stunning. I'm actually going to show you a picture of this because I don't really feel like it does it justice panning up and down. For me, having that black dress on is just what Valentine's Day is all about. My little Kurt Geiger clutch and my Kurt Geiger shoes that I recently bought in a haul as well. I feel so much more confident now wearing my favourite black dress, knowing that my hair just isn't going to be full of flakes and dandruff after I've used that head and shoulder shampoo and conditioner. Whatever you're doing for Valentine's Day, guys, have such a nice night. Bye!